Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jen. Hi there, you alright? Um, so I am here to do a bit of a spring TBR. I had a set list of books that I was hoping to get to during spring and most of those are the books that I didn't get to during my winter TBR so I'll just breeze through those for you guys so I'm not taking all your time. Um, but just randomly now I was just picking out some books that I'd like to get to um, that I thought I'd mention as well. So I've got a couple of months to do this. I never seem to mention, well as I've been doing these spring things, oh spring things. <laughs> Try that again. As I've been doing these um, seasonal TBRs, I've not been mentioning any like ebooks, but that's not to say that I'm not going to be reading ebooks as well, if that makes sense. So please ignore that. So I realise now as I'm doing this that I didn't do my little goal of reading five <laughs> ebooks, net galley ebooks, for every three months. So I need to kind of catch up on that for sure. So it's going to be a busy spring for me. Okay, so just quickly whizzing through, I did have the last Spider-Man um, crossover with Deadpool, uh, Serious Business slash No Laughing Matter, but I read that in February, so I've just ticked that off as done. So the other lasting books from the rest of the um, winter TBR are these three, and they are The Burning Maze, which is book three of the Trials of Apollo series by Rick Riordan, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, and Kate Atkinson's Transcription. And then the newest stuff that I'm hoping to get to, um, again, not including any NetGalley or ebooks in general that I hope to get to as well, but they are Stephen King's The Institute. So this was one of the recent books that I got within the last couple of months. Um, this is one of his newest books, I believe, and I've heard it be described as similar to Stranger Things um, in the sense that we've got a group of kids that are able to do like these abilities and I think they're in some sort of facility and I think it's like an escape sort of situation. Um, I think it's a standalone. I haven't heard anything saying that it alludes to a, a series or anything like that. But yeah, I'd be interested in checking this out because I really want to read more Stephen King but I am a bit of a scaredy cat when it comes to horror so if I can dive a bit more into his other genres like the fantasy and stuff because I think he's got quite a lot of fantasy um, then I'll give those a go and sort of patter in the horror every now and then, some of the classics every now and then. Um, but yeah, beautiful cover. I think there's a purple one as well, which may be a Waterstones special one. I think I got this from Asda. Um, so there's that one. And then I would like to try, I don't know if I'll get all of them read, but I'd like to do a reading vlog where I'm reading all the um, Wayward Children books that I own. I've got three of them by Shannon Maguire. I don't know if it's Shannon or Seanan. I've heard people say Ivar, um, Shannon Maguire. So I don't know if these are in the right order and I think there's like six or seven in them generally, but I thought this would be, this small books and this would be a good taste to see if I definitely like the series or not. And I thought reading vlog would be fun, um, especially now as it's hopefully getting a bit brighter and sunnier. Um, so we've got Every Heart A Doorway, Beneath The Sugar Sky and Down Among The Sticks And Bones. Then second to last now, we've got Pedigree Penitary. I can't say that word very well. This is the second book in the Wolven Scholar series by Nevelis Jordan. <laughs> I struggle, I struggle. Um, I know him as Nev. I We follow each other on Instagram and I did um, receive this from him for free. And I re not recently, he sent me his first book before and I wasn't too keen on it, but he said, try it again, like try the second one. Let's see if we can sort of not I'm making this up in my own words. He didn't say, let me see if I can convert you. He didn't say that. He just wants to give it another try and see if um, it's more to my taste. If not, that's fine. Um, but I will talk about this regardless. Is happy with whatever my thoughts are, just to give him my honest opinion. So this series, um, he sort of pitched it to me as being, if you like Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, you might like this. I love that series, so I don't know if that was just a big kind of goal in my head to kind of live up to, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what that one is about, generally. And then finally, I would love to get to Lolita by Vladimir Nabovkov. I'm sorry if I pronounced his surname wrong. This is something that I had wanted to read for so long. I watched the movie in my teens and I was like, wow, this is so messed up. I need to read the original story. So 
A lot of people, I believe, would know what Lolita is. I think it's one of those classics, yeah, it's Penguin classics. But um, let me just read you the back. So, Humbert Humbert is a middle-aged, frustrated college professor in love with his landlady's 12-year-old daughter, Lolita. He'll do anything to possess her. Unable and unwilling to stop himself, he is prepared to commit any crime to get what he wants. Is he in love or insane? A silver-tongued poet or a pervert? A tortured soul or a monster? Or is he all of these? So, it's one of those disturbing books that is one of those interesting character human studies sorry i realized uh, we just got blinds put in my uncle put them in and they're looking great but it's like throwing a bit of a weird light because the sun's doing some wacky stuff um but yeah it's one of those books that i just feel like i really desperately would need to read understand well i don't know if you can ever understand something like this but you know what i mean um so we will we will see we will see what my thoughts are on this it's one of those weird ones i feel like would be strange to rate because of the content but an interesting read nonetheless so it's an ambitious tbr but i'm thinking to myself three months technically i can knock these out in three months but as a mood reader you guys know that sort of feeling of don't know if i'm fancying that let's try something out try something else out um that seems to be the way of late but we shall see we shall see and of course it's not an extensive list either i've got some books that i would like to get to on my um kindle my tablet i'm also currently reading let me just show you quickly currently reading a book my cousin ebony loaned me over christmas funnily enough she loaned me like a stack and i've just given her a couple of them back um but it's a danger to herself and others by Alyssa Sh Sh Shinmel. um so this one it seems like a young girl's been sent to like a psychiatric ward following something suspicious that has happened to her best friend um and she's quite i'm only like six pages in she's quite adamant that um everything will be fine once the parents have calmed down the girl is in a coma once the parents have sort of come to terms and apparently she just believes that they just want someone to blame and she was an easy scapegoat and has her best friend she's like i'll accept that for now but if she's keeping very calm because she thinks everything will be sorted out once she gets the chance to explain herself properly but it's interesting so far i mean i'm only six nine pages in as i said um so i'm not far in at all it's kind of like this bubble of oh what's happened curiosity i just haven't had a chance to pick it back up in the last couple of days because i've just been busy um but yeah i'll probably be taking that to work and getting most of the chunks done um, and getting into it um during my lunch breaks but yeah i will leave you guys now because i feel like i've been talking your ear off just because i filmed two videos just now back to back and one of them was slightly longer um and yeah i'll speak to you in another video soon don't forget to let me know what you guys are planning to read in this next uh quarter for seasons or if you've just got a general monthly tbr or anything like that but yeah i'll speak to you in another video soon see you later bye let me depress my car.